Hello, welcome back. Today, let's solve another lead code problem. 1109 Corporate Flight Bookings. There are N flights that are labeled from 1 to N, and for the bookings array inside for each of the item, it is the first, last, and sixth. This means, yeah, from the first label, this means the first flight, this is just a flight number, and from flight 1, to flight 2, it has, we will order 10 seats. And from flight 2 to flight 3, we're going to order 20 seats. So finally, we're going to return an array. So the array will be sum of all those flights, the sum of the seats of all those flights. For example, the label 1 and 2, it means flight 1 and flight 2, it has 10. And 2 to 3, 20. And 2 to 5, 25 here, and the final will be, the first one will be, yeah, 10, the second label will be 55, the third will be plus of 20 plus 25, it's 45, and here 25 and 25, so we're going to return this result. As you can see, this problem is similar to lead code 370, that is uh, add inside of reads. Now let's just use uh, the template of a difference array. So for the difference array, normally it can deal with uh, the problems of uh, reads sums. For example, the reads from 1 to 2 is 10, reads 2 to 3 is 20. Yeah, the idea is uh, from the sweeping line, or uh, it is uh, the prefix sum. Yeah, it's a, a dynamic programming idea, but here we call it a difference arrays. It means all those values can be accumulated inside our defined array. So I'm going to define an array f. So inside, initially, it will be 0 times n plus 1. So because why I need n plus 1? Because I need to use another value if I go out of the range. It is just like a padding. But for my label, I will use 0 to 4, not 1 to 5. Otherwise, I have to use n plus 2. It's not necessary. So I'm going to use a 0 label as here, the label 1. So the label 4 as here, the label 5. So this is why I'm going to use the n plus 1. And then I'm going to loop through the bookings. So for first, last, and number of seats in bookings, So the f here would be first minus 1. For example, this is label 1. I'm going to make it label 0. 1 to 2 is the same as 0 to 1. So the f first minus 1 should plus equal to this number of seats. And similarly, for the last, I'm going to, I don't use the last minus 1 anymore. Because at here, this is number 2. I don't need to minus 1. Because this is for my difference array, I'm going to make it out of the range. For example, before it is 1, 2, I'm going to make it 1, 3. But here, I'm going to use 0, 2. It's the same. So here, the f would be last and minus equal to the seats. Yeah, let me give you an example of why I'm going to write like this. For example, yeah, from the beginning we have, uh, let's say, n is 5. We have uh, 6 zeros inside. And here we have uh, 6 zeros initially. And then we are going to make some uh, labels. So from 1 to 2, I'm going to make it 0 to 2, 0 to 1. So from the 0, I'm going to give a label. So it would be 10. And then from the 2, I'm going to give it a, a label 2, because I'm going to use a label from a 1, from 0 to 1. So 1 plus 1, it is a 2. So from the 2, I'm going to give a minus 10. Why? Because after that, I'm going to accumulate. Like this 10 plus here, it is a 10. Let me accumulate. Yeah. So first place it is a 10. For the second place, I'm going to accumulate to the first one, it is a 10. And then third place, I'm going to use this minus 10 plus this 10, it is a 0. After that, it will be always be 
and zeros. As you can see that, this also finished our adding by 10. So the final result is 10 and 10. So here we have 10 and 10. But after that, it is always zeros. As you can see, it is right. Now, let me loop through the F array. So for I in range 1 to less of F and Fi to the plus equal Fi minus 1. Finally, we just need to return this array without the last one because the last one is just a padding. It doesn't matter. It didn't have any influence to our result. So it should be F minus 1. Now let me run it to check if it really works. As you can see, it works. Now let me submit it to check if it can pass all the testing cases. As you can see, it passed all the testing cases and it's pretty fast. Now let's analyze the time complexity. As you can see, there are only two loops. The first loop is for the bookings. It means the booking array is the length of n, and the second is the range of the f. So the f is the number n. Yes, if this f is n, so here let's make the bookings array is m. So the time complexity is O m plus n, because there are only two loops. So let's check the result of the data. So the n is 2 times 10 to the power of 4, it's not a big number. And now let's check the bookings. So the uh, the booking is also 2 times 10 to the power of 4, so the final result would be 2 times 10 to the power of 4 plus 2 times 10 to the power of 4. It is 4 times 10 to the power of 4. It is basically O n. Thank you for watching. If you think this is helpful, please like and subscribe. I will upload more lead code problem like this. See you next time.